हाई गाइज दिस इज सलोनी एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल कोडेरा सो गाइज दिस इज द ट्वेल्थ वीडियो ऑफ अवर एसक्ल ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक अबाउट दी एसक्ल कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सिलेक्ट कमांड सिलेक्ट कमांड विद द डिस्टिंक्ट सिलेक्ट कमांड विद एक्सप्रेशन एंड फंक्शन फ्रॉम क्लॉज एंड एसक्ल एलियस एंड विद दिस वीडियो यू विल ऑल्सो गेट द एसक्ल प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो वॉच द फुल वीडियो सो दैट यू कैन सॉल्व दैम सो लेट स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन सो गाइज फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज सिलेक्ट कमांड सो द सिलेक्ट कमांड इज अ डी क्यू एल कमांड बट सम डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम कंसिडर इट एज अ डी एम एल कमांड बट हेयर इट इज अ लिमिटेड फॉर्म ऑफ डी एम एल कमांड सो दिस सिलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इज यूज टू गेट और डिस्प्ले द डेटा फ्रॉम वन और मोर टेबल सो आइदर वी कैन फेच ऑल दी कॉलम्स फ्रॉम द टेबल और यू कैन ऑल्सो फेच स्पेसिफिक कॉलम्स एंड नॉट ओनली दिस यू कैन ऑल्सो फेच सम स्पेसिफिक रोज बाय स्पेसिफाइंग द डिफरेंट कंडीशन यूजिंग द वेयर क्लॉज बट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द सिलेक्ट कमांड देन द सिलेक्ट कमांड कम्स विद द फ्रॉम क्लॉज so from clause is used to list the table name in the query so with the help of from clause we can specify the name of one or more tables from which we want to fetch the data and it also helps us in adding joins to the query so guys here is the general syntax of select command so we have to write select star from and then the table name and here the star means all the columns so this query will fetch all the column of the table and guys if you want to fetch only some specific columns from the table then in place of a star or asterisk you have to write the name of those specific columns so guys now let's fetch some data from our employee table so first we will fetch all the records from the employee table so now let's execute our query so here you can see this command will fetch all the columns of the employee table So now this time we will only fetch three columns. So in our table we have these five columns. So now we will fetch only ID, name, and salary. So our query will be like select ID, comma name, comma salary from employee. So now let's execute this query. So guys, as you can see, we have selected only three columns, which is ID, name, and salary. That's why in the resultant we will get only three columns. So guys here you can see in this output table we have some duplicate names but what if you want only unique names from the table so for this you have to use distinct keyword so guys we use distinct when we want to fetch only unique records or we want to remove the duplicate records and we use distinct clause only with the select statement so to select only distinct names our query will be like this select distinct name from employee So guys we have to write the distinct keyword after the select keyword and before the column names so let's execute the query with the distinct keyword so let's see so here you can see we have only four names why in our employee table you can see we have five records and we have the name jack two times but here in this query we will get only four name that means it will remove the duplicate record and only fetch the unique records and guys you can also use distinct on multiple columns but in that case the resultant rows will be the unique row based on the combination of those multiple columns so let's apply distinct on name and department and let's see what will be our output so now let's execute this query so in the output you can see we get only two columns which is name and department but in the department column the value of hr is two times that means the value of hr is duplicate but the point to be noted is that the combination of name and department is unique in case of hr which means the combination of jack and hr and tom and hr is unique that's why we are getting this duplicate values so i hope now you understand this query and guys in place of column name you can also write the star it will give you the row which has the unique combination of all the column values and guys this distinct is very important many time interviewer ask queries based on the distinct clause and there is one more thing that you can use with the select command is expression and functions so in place of star or column names you can write the expressions like addition of two columns subtraction multiplication and so on 
For example, in this query, we will add ID and salary column. As both are integer, so we can add them. And here you can see that in this query, I have used as keyword. And after that, I have also write addition. So guys, this is alias in SQL, which we use to give a temporary name to a table or a column in a table, which works as a nickname. And it is very useful when the column name is not user friendly in real time. Then this aliases make them more readable. And you will oftenly see its use when we will combine the columns using expression or when we will use any function in the query, like we just did in the previous query. And remember one thing that it is a temporary name. So it will only exist for the duration of the query. It won't affect the original column name of the table. So we use S keyword to define a temporary name and it is optional. You can also give a space something like this. But I would recommend it you to use this keyword because it makes the query more readable. So let's execute this query. So here you can see this result shows the column name as addition. So guys here you will see in second row the addition is null while we have the id equal to 102. So guys we can't add any number directly with the null value. So for this we have to use if null function which we will discuss in some other video. So this was the example of arithmetic expression and you can also use the SQL function in place of expression. For example, in this query, I have used concat function, which will concatenate all the comma separated values. So here, name and id are the column names and I have combined them with a dash between them. And the resultant column has a temporary name employee code. Now let's execute the select command with the function. So here is our output. So you can see in the output, the column name is the employee code. So guys, using the expression and function, you can also format the output of the select command. Guys, SQL has many such functions and we will also discuss them in the upcoming videos. So guys, this is the basics of select command and the select is the most important command of SQL. And the maximum SQL interview questions asked are based on the select command. So in the upcoming video, we will see this select command with the more clauses and functions. And in the description box, I have attached some SQL practice questions. So please try to solve them. So guys, that's all about this video. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.